GST on freight charges. This presentation will give you an overview on applying GST on freight and conveyance charges. As you must be aware that under GST regime you have to charge GST on the freight or conveyance amount you have levied in the sales bill. In case of single tax rate invoice, that is, if all the items in the bills are taxable at the same rate, then at that particular rate you have to apply GST on the freight charges. Suppose you have applied the freight charges as rupees one thousand, and all the items in the bill are chargeable at eighteen percent, so you will charge eighteen percent as GST on the freight amount. In case of multi tax rate invoice. that is a single bill having items taxable at different rates then you need to charge tax on freight on the highest tax rate that is if in the bill you have items at 18 and 28% rate taxable then if you are charging freight as 1000 rupees then you have to charge 28% gst on it in this presentation we will discuss how we will charge freight in case of single tax rate invoice and multi tax rate invoice First of all we will discuss the single tax rate invoice case. For this we will enter a sales voucher or we can say sup supply outward voucher. First of all you will specify the header related details here we have taken the sale type as LGST 28% that is it is a local transaction taxable at 28% then party material center we have selected the item as Sony Bravia LED TV and we have sold two pieces of it. Now in the bill summary section first of all we will apply the freight and forwarding charges here we have applied the charges as 1000 rupees and after applying the freight and forwarding charges bill summary we will apply the cgst at the rate of 14% here on the screen you can see that the cgst is charged on 61000 rupees and not on 60000 rupees that is 14% cgst is charged on the bill amount including the freight and forwarding bill summary and not on the item amount Similarly next we will charge the SGST at 14% and SGST is also being charged at 61000 rupees that is including the amount of freight and forwarding bill summary so it is just like entering a normal voucher in case of single tax rate invoice nothing new is to be done you have to charge bill summary just before your taxation bill summaries next we will discuss the multi tax rate invoice In case of multi tax rate invoice as i have discussed earlier also you need to charge gst at the highest rate in the bill that is if your bill contains items at 18% tax and 28% tax then you need to charge gst as 28% on freight and forwarding charges now we will discuss how we will implement this thing for this we have to create multiple items that is we have to create items with the name like freight 18% freight 28% so first of all here we are creating an item master freight 18% we have specified its unit as unit we don't require any unit here its tax category as services 18% it is very important to tag the correct tax category with the item master because this item will be taxable at this particular rate after that we'll specify yes in the specify supply outward account and we'll select the freight and forwarding account in this so basically we have set a connection that for this item this particular tax rate is applied and sale outward account is freight and forwarding next we will specify why in the don't maintain stock balance option that is we do not required to maintain stock balance for this item basically this is an item through which we will apply the freight and forwarding charges next we will create one more item with the name freight 28% we will take its tax category as services 28% you can see the tax category in modify mode it's a normal tax category as we are using for other items here also we will specify the supply outward account at freight and forwarding charges and we'll specify yes in the do not maintain stock balance till now we have created the items for freight and forwarding now we will see that how we will use this items in the sale bill for this we will open a sale bill that is supply outward voucher here we have taken the sale type as lgst item wise that is in this bill we will charge gst item wise that is different tax rates will be applied in this bill first of all we have taken the item as sony bravia led tv on pressing the enter key in the amount field you can see an item wise gst window is appearing which is showing the cgst and sgst rates next we have taken the item as ifp convection microwaves here also on pressing the enter key on the amount field item wise gst window appeared in which we have applied the cgst and sgst at 18% as this bill contains item with both 18% and 28% tax rate we will now apply 
28% GST on the freight and forwarding charges. So here in the list, you see you have created these two items, freight 18% and freight 28%. Now we will select the item as freight 28% and specify its amount as 1000 rupees. That is we have charged 1000 as freight in this bill. On pressing the enter key in the amount field, you can see item wise GST window on which 28% GST is charged. This 28% is taken from the tax category. We have specified the tax category as services 28% with this item. So you can see this is the way you can charge GST in the multi tax rate invoices. That is you need to create different items for the freight and forwardings and then you can use those items in the bill and apply the freight charges and similarly apply the GST on it. Next we will go to display account book daybook option specify the date range and here on the screen you can see that supply outward voucher is showing the freight and forwarding charges as 1000 rupees and the CGST and the SGST amount includes the freight and forwarding charges that is CGST and SGST are being charged on item amount plus the freight and forwarding charges amount hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily charge GST on the freight and forwarding charges in the multi tax rate as well as single tax rate invoices thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel